Look over towards mid. Curry sneaking his way through. This is really only something he does like very, very rarely, but he's going for it. And Bjorn shuts him down. In comes the take. Okay. Immediately BBG recognized that slow take. They're waiting for some kind of lurk on the side of T1. And well, they've been able to read this round perfectly. They understood Curry's play. And now they're able to congest this site. Brax trying to pull them out of the hole, but it's not good enough. One person watching that back cross. It's currently Dawn. But as the plant finally goes down, Don might actually catch up his first contact, and it's going to be his only contact as he takes down Bjorn Lulu. And the rest of the defensive side, they do start to come out of rafters. Three over towards that back line, oh. and will drive through the wall. Going to be able to take down Automatic. Curry around the corner. He might have two people to aim on. Indeed, he starts to spray. Has to dismiss around the corner. Makes it. No, he doesn't. Will finally takes him down. It's a 2v3. BBG currently at a disadvantage. They barely have any util to cover up this, this spike. At this point, it is dire, dire straits. Look at the lineups, too. Dawn has an orb on, has a snake bite on. Will has no chance. He has to run for the hills. T the information that, okay, no one is towards B main, so he's playing a little more cautious towards B, knowing that there could be an instant cancel, but with the contact made from Curry onto Will, I think that kind of sells the deal that this is an A hit. Indeed it is. The Viper wall, of course, being there from the very beginning of the round, reinforced by a Sage wall right behind it. It's going to lead to a red carpet run into the middle of sight. What a lineup for that. Oh, for that snake bite. And out goes Poach out with a kill. Now it's Dawn now in a 1v3. Has a lineup back. Has two snake bites in. Bounces one right into the middle of sight. Poach is still defusing. Stuck. Poach didn't get hit by the snake bite. Stubborn potential becomes really scary. And it's good they use the hunting streak. They're trying to punish that so they don't have to worry about it later. Okay, early wall, but these two players have to bail. Trill getting knocked up from behind, and, uh, from up top. And there you go. It is Skadoodle getting up that last kill. Still good, though, that you have the rest of BBG still holding up that mid side. But really, it is all for naught. Mid side doesn't have to get focused up whatsoever. The early Viper Spade is going to dissipate as we speak. Now T1 with this full post plant. They have Dawn, who has a Viper Spit. They have Skadoodle that could be able to revive any of the any of his teammates that gets dropped off this post plant. There goes the Ooh. fake. There goes Bior from up top. So getting the kill off the automatic. A great straight back from Skadoodle. Rack still behind the wall, waiting out for Rar Car. Skadoodle alongside Dawn, still back over towards Bane. And a. Oh. The rest of his team making his way all the way over towards that A site. It is that early Viper Wall again. And this time it's actually a tell Ooh. because they're actually going to capitalize with it. Out goes Automatic with a kill. Poach from behind the wall, still able to get a trade back onto Automatic. Poach is back in terms of HP. Trill is here to try to wide swing. Dawn is going to stay safe. So that Viper Viper's Pit is going to stay intact. Poach. Was in the backside this entire time. Hello. Probably going for it. Peeks out. And he takes down Curry. Not the player that was planning. But still, very good positioning regardless. It is Bjor now in a 1v3. Sees a Viper's pit, but he still gets hit by it. And Brax with a oh, with a nice angle actually from a supper. Indeed, indeed. Will waiting for it. There goes the satchel. And there goes the kill from Will. Now it's a two-man advantage. Make it only a one-man advantage. Brax on the lurk over towards the midside. Catching up Rarkar as he was actually starting to think about a rotation. Curry picking up the spike. This might just be a back out for T1. They're doubling back. But look at two players behind Yellow Box. Will's going to be able to get one. Trill with a second. Leaving now only Brax in a 1v3. There goes the revive. Brax now with a spray down. Going to be able to get two. Has full, full advantage. He has double shock darts. He even has his owl drone. He already has a charged up recon and a Hunter's Fury to boot. Brax can win this round without peeking a singular time against your poach. But uh, uh, Poach oh. defusing with the Owl Drone on, but he actually does stick it. In we go! Brax going for the wide swing! Brax takes forever! Oh yeah, no, and it's not just early control of the B site. It is control of the entire vicinity. They're all the way back over towards spawn. Now watch out for Brax. He's actually trying to clear out that back. He's actually trying to clear out back space with that Hunter's Theory. Interesting, but that still is a confirmed kill. And that is control back for BBG of Snowmen. So watch out for Automatic right behind the wall. Automatic going down to Poach off of that mid cross. These last two players, Dawn and Brax. Brax only has one shock dart remaining. One piece of util alone. Brax still hiding away. Dawn playing ring around the rosy as he takes down Trill. Now it's a 2v2. Dawn plays with Ooh. the Rarkar. But Rarkar with 34 HP gets the headshot. And Brax! All of the A site. Finally a bit of a ping. 
Fake spike plants. No, it is finally going to be committed. But no one from BBG goes for the peak, so instead it's just going to be a laborious retake, or a very fast one at that. An explosive one. Out they go. Recon both early. Rarkar with a wide swing. He's able to get one. An immediate trade from Automatic. Ooh. Automatic with the up. Able to get two. And he's dashing away. Trying to get away. It's a mosh pit of T1 players trying to catch up to him. And indeed, now Don is the only person remaining in a 1v3. It is thrifty. He ended up placing up a Viper wall. Potentially Ooh. help out for a crossover on it. is here. They haven't cleared him yet. And indeed, they're not going to clear him. They're going to let B main all open. They want the control of really the rest of the site instead. Mm -hmm. They're not going to try to fight for that 1v1. In goes at least one player, two players back over towards Snowman. Poach and Bjorn might be running into Automatic, but Automatic goes down to Trill. Trill off the wide swing and Yellow finally goes down. But it is finally BBG making moves, but they get trapped. The unorthodox work of T1 ends up giving them the two. They haven't actually committed more. Oh, too much. No, and we go. Automatic has slipped through the crack of mid. And now the spike is fully on B. And now Curry, who took up that kitchen control, finally helps out by taking down Will off the rotation. Lulu off that, if I'm not mistaken, off the flank in mid. Finally ends up getting that kill back, so it's still a 4v4. But speaking of flanks, there's actually Brax on the way back. Brax takes down Poach. And that might be the only one he can get. Everyone else from BBG is just trying to book it right into the middle of the B site. Viper's Pit right in the middle of Kitchen. And it is absolute chaos. And Dawn is holding it down. Nobody can make it through what is essentially enemy lines. And now Bjor. He's trying to reinvest into that Viper's Pit, but it's, as BBG is only now starting to get that plant. Look, there's nobody for uh, there's nobody for BBG back here. Curry has oh. more space to act, but Bjor hustling towards that back pipe, and he immediately finds Curry, and he's still trying to find a second. Bjor, the guardian of the back line, but he almost anticipates an uh, automatic to still be here too, and indeed... His intuition is correct. Automatic ends up getting the kill, but Will and Rock are at the same time getting out two incredibly important ones. And now Skadoodle pinched out by the last three. It is BBG with another pistol in. It is good that Dawn at least have that orb over towards mid, but I think oh his toxins goodness. have actually ran out. But what a shot from Dawn. That's in a little bit of a snake bite. What a lineup from Will. He was more than ready for that line of work. And now Automatic with two huge kills from the Marshal. Oh, it's just Trill and Bjor. And now it's flipped back. Trill is suddenly in defender spawn. He's got a player on his backside. That being Curry. There comes that Sheriff and Bjor. He is in no position to do anything. 49 HP, a wall to obstruct, and that snake fight simply is not going to connect. Look at the way this fight was planted. It was wow. planted so it couldn't happen in hell. But in comes BBG for the take now. Oh, and around the corner. What a wall. From Skadoodle, it's still gonna delay more time. There's three players cooped up right in the middle of sight. 20 seconds left, it is pure chaos. Skadoodle still capitalizing on two more kills for himself. Out goes the revive, out goes a man advantage. The Viper's Pit just putting everyone from BBG right into the middle of sight. Bjor wide swinging right into Brax. If anything, these BBG players can still go back, but they have no clue. They're all stuck still in the middle of the Viper's Pit. Dawn takes down Poach. Now the man advantage is gone. Bjor oh! with the wide up. Oh, the Timing is perfect, and now automatic. He has nowhere to go, no, no one to aim on, and that was for a little bit of audio too. These two players from B main, they are sitting pretty oh. steady. Them, nobody left, left here on the A site for BBG. They're doubling back to B, and Dawn is here, deep into B main, getting two kills. It's all his. As well with his knives, this is close. Three versus two. They don't. They might not expect Trill's positioning. That could be the game changer of this round, Gus. And well, there's a flank coming in from B main, so this things this makes things a lot more difficult for BBG. Uh, and that's the lineup to Roarcore. Oh, Rarkar could only get one. Curry coming up from behind. And that's going to be the end of the round. Curry going investigating. Oh, going to get punished by Will here. And that could be the signifier. There are three players here. Left. Very, very close. And Ska's got an idea as to where this player is lurking up. And well, there's that pick. There's a Viper oh. Zolt. And this just got a whole lot harder for BBG. Oh my, and with only 20 seconds left, BBG is far too deep. In goes Dawn oh, again. Oh, he got the lineup. Where did the second kill come from? And Dawn closes. This is outrageously aggressive coming out from T1. Oh man. T1, they want to close it out Scott. now. Skadoodle pushing the situation off the Sage Wall boost.
Skadoodle turns into the battle sage. Even an initiator at points. In goes Courier over towards the back line of A main. And he would need at least face though T1. I mean, at least they tried it. That that's something that we saw from like the glory days of FaZe Clan with their Shmeek. Just full sending it down to A and well. Doesn't work out. BBG, they account for everything. They they watch the players run through. They're able to pick off players one by one and keep to punish, but not being given the chance to do so just yet. Oh, oh automatic! Take him oh. down like a clay pigeon! And automatic continues his reign of terror! He gets himself a second! Skadoodle in the cheeky spot on top of Radiantite! And he's still able to get another one! Poach and Bjorn, now the last two remaining, make it only Poach! <laughs> and just make it all happen! But they're gonna run into a brick wall! Oh, that Look flash. at this retake! They're trying to retake in mid! Wall pinching up in Cat! This is unreal for T1, actually! Let's see if it works! BBG! They're still forcing their way on with Will and Poach! Skadoodle still trying to fight back! But as the dust subsides, we do have T1 in the man disadvantage. This is big for BBG after T1 was trying some tricky stuff in mid. Flash left over. The Aldrin going in from Brax is going to get a little bit of information, but the other two players not necessarily known. But look at the HP. This could be deadly, but Skadoodle tagged down to 6 HP. Things get even more dicey. And the Frenzy Ross in the oh. drop two. Out goes. Ah, oh, there you go. Here we kind of see the use of it again. Flashes go in to allow Will to entry. Suppress knife or KO knife going oh. in as well. And Will just clearing it out, but okay. T1 doing some damage back themselves. Uh, some damage, a lot of bit of damage. Brax now the last one remaining in a 1v2 apparently. Will's down to 83. Roar card down to 20. There goes the tap from Brax. Brax doesn't have anything to work with. Out goes the recon bolt and he finds the person over towards hell. He only has one right click remaining. Still going for the reload. Brax! Oh, get the headshot! Oh! Brax wins out the 1v2 with nothing but a classic! Another thrifty. This is like the- the ready. Could have a crossbar and could easily support his team, but there goes the Util. That actually suppresses both of them. Zero point knife allows an entry, and next thing you know, T1 are suddenly playing the retake. Yeah, BBG. Yeah, BBG is going to be able to get this plant down. There's still Util on site. I think we can, we can still blast away the turret. What? They're taking so long to take away the turret. The KJ is still alive, guys. In we go. Automatic off that retake. There's legitimately nobody in the middle of sight. There's two players over towards Cat. There's one player over in A main, but they're still covering it right. Rawcrow with a big kill. Bior Lulu doing the same, but that's all the way back in spawn. Poach is now officially the only person here, but he still has the angle. So this is actually allowing Bior to come back. What is going on? It's a 2v2. Dawn and Skadoodle right in the middle of sight. Out goes the recon. And finally, no nope, Bjorn still gonna be able to get Ooh. one and no skadoodle finally with the last down to the mid side a very nice guiding light will force them back a little bit and well an attempted B split a skadoodle goes one for one blow for blow and automatic with that operator good you give it to him because now he's giving you an advantage and he's able to find a connecting blow with it and yes he will in yes, the back side that'll at least deny a little info Rax in the oh. back side but curry's the big focus yeah, Curry has the angle and Brax off the crossfire. They work, silly. It's happening again. BBG now have all. And I, if I'm BBG, I'm contemplating. What do you do now? BBG, I mean, they got to run for the hills. They're, back. They're sprinting right towards A. It's They're automatic. sprinting into a brick wall. Look at Automatic. He gets the first pick. They're nano swarms and cats. Legitimately, BBG cannot make their way through without taking in a plethora of damage. And indeed, they have Bjorn still alive. He still gets another kill. No automatic time. around the corner. Trying to find Rarkar. There goes the... Where you can maybe disable that util. And oh, mm. I don't know if it caught Dawn, but even if it didn't... There are still so many players here, and it didn't. Yeah, he's got that chance to use the lockdown, and well, Automatic is going to strike first blood run nonetheless. Just don't watch out. It's going to be Bjorn trying to fight out the situation in Courtyard, but Automatic is ready for it. Off the crossfire with Dawn, and now Dawn is safe. Dawn can use up that lockdown. Will, wait, wait. Where's Will going? Will wait. from behind. There goes one, two. Oh, Automatic almost let a 3K happen, but Trill now, the last one remaining in a one that... Ulti back that hunter theory. Super, super important for at least the rest of this round. But out goes actually. Knife over towards that mid side. Oh my goodness. And oh, whoa. Poach early on off the hunter's theory. Actually taking down Brax. 
And now the B site is completely wide open. Again, it is T1 more or less playing around the perimeter of B and going for a retake. But this is BBG's best chance for a round. Oh, but you gotta remember, Curry's on this flank, and there's still one thing that is waiting. The lockdown. And where oh, is he? Don no. is coming in as well. Curry ready for this swing if they can find this kill, which they've got the flash. It's perfect. And T1 have suddenly created an advantage. Dude, are you kidding me? That flash came oh from... Oh my gosh! That flash came from Morkit, and they still hit B main, and now Automatic continuing oh. to plug away at his opponents. The lockdown goes in, and Roarcar now, the last one remaining in a 1v4. Stuck around the corner, still thinking about going back. The defuse going in, and Automatic gets the last kill. T1, cold is up. Still going through two, ple uh, two pieces of util over towards Cat. Two players over towards Cat. It's a fast rotation for T1. Oh. Out goes Automatic over towards Top. And he's still able to take down Rar Car, but it's only one for T1, as now BBG have control of A. Will as well, right underneath. But look at the HP, especially for Bior and Troll. There's no regrowth in Brax. I was wondering when we'd see an Odin finally coming into play. Brax has been able to manage one. Will looking for the trade back, but a 3v4 and T1 lining themselves up as Will yet to be punished here. Will gets punished. Uh, and now it's a two on three. <laughs> oh, Automatic oh, trying to drop in still. That's right down from Poach. And Brax and Curry combine. It, it all works. It all works in there. Yeah, and Automatic again. You know, he was a decoy in the last one. Oh, he's the fragging machine here. Curry up close. It's not a bait this time. He's just going to swing oh. through the smoke. And well, Odin right in the back lines as Trill tries to commit the TP. It's a 4v2 Gus and well. With the players on such low HP, you imagine at this point we're looking at that at that posturous 10 to 2. Yeah, low, low HP for these last two. Rarkar oh. still able to get another kill onto automatic. Post still trying to fight back. That shock dart well placed. He only has a specter to work. Feels like it's almost over for BBG. Early paranoia from Trill over towards Cat oh and my. BBG. And a round that they desperately need. They end up giving up the first pick. Again, it is a trade back from Trill. Watch out over towards Med. There's two players stuck. Yeah, it has to be Will that has the dash away, but he has no dash. He already utilized it. Rockard trying to help out. It is an absolute oh. pass to Med, but Trill's cleaning it up. He ends up getting two. Still tapping Ray! away. The Red Bull clutch. And well, T1 might just be walking into one of the most horrendous that stacks is some I've great seen. Great info though, early. Oh, we saw that knife over towards A main. They got that info, but T1 is still going, Sully. Oh, the KO. Fragment goes out, and I was going to say these flashes could be deadly, but here it is. Bior, he hasn't revealed his position, and he's got two sky flashes now. He has two flashes. No, oh! automatic got him. The flashes are gone. The util is practically gone, too. Poach has nothing. Will has everything to use. Again, but that's a duelist. That's individual. So with a couple of flashes, though, back on that KO. Watch out for Don. Don is on is on the fire flank. Three people all in heaven. And out goes Rarkar. Don still actually gets that kill. And gets a set. so much space. Oh, it's two. Will, Will. It's two. There goes the L drone. Curry's dead. Curry's dead. No, he's not. Oh, Will actually aims that on Brax first, but there you go. Curry is down and out. Same thing with Brax. The information is taken. The take on B is forced out early. Out goes Bjor. Early guiding light. Poach is still coming in at a good time. There's no smoke over towards that back line. Poach can go for a peek right here, right now, and there's only two people there. Automatic might have market oh. control, but that is finally Poach coming out with a kill. Out goes Automatic on a suicide mission. He goes out of the smoke, and he only ends up getting one. The Owl Drone gets the ping onto Skadoo. He's doing it again. He's on another lurk in all four. Fiber towards mid. He's got the info, Gus. Everyone here on T1 should be ready. And Curry just needs oh. to choose the right moment to strike. No, Trill looked behind, but he's not able to see anything. Out goes that flank. Out goes Automatic. Still trying to focus up from short. He's not able to get any hits. Out goes Curry off oh. the flank. Curry can't get anything done. He only gets one. Trill still back with a frag. Now gotta watch out for Dawn. On the other side of stairs, nobody from BBG is approaching it. The timing is perfect for Dawn. BBG, are they even trying to go for this? Are they going for exits now? Trying to break the economy at T1? What are they even going for? It's late already. Poach gets the two kills. Trill goes out late. It is 12 rounds. Flash flashing out Poach. There's three players now in mid for BBG. They're looking to hold it down. Will now oh adapt over towards Cat all the way from mid. What is going on? It is absolute chaos. Poach and Trill still getting kills. Oh, Rocker from behind with two. Rocker them to a bit of a drought look at this takeover towards cat curry and trill combining at least or colliding 
Oh! They're back, back, raw car, holding it back, could potentially get a third, but there goes the kill back from Skadoodle, not even a kill yet, they would have to pick him up, Don now the last one in a 1v3, I'm gonna call it a 1v3 because raw car is about to get picked up in the back of sight, this is such a tall task for Dawn, Spike is down right in the middle of Cat. In front of the gate, Dawn with little to no util, just got at least one now, they know 100% and he now has been suppressed. The zero point knife on. Can he line up anything? Fragment goes in. He is pushed into a corner, literally and figuratively. As three players all watching, and there goes the spam. Twelve to eight. That guiding light going out early though, stopping that dash. That's that's just that stinks, was, honestly. That was great for Bior, and then combo that with Rarkar is <laughs> pop flash. It's it's nice. Gets him in the smoke, and they lock mm -hmm. things down here. So T1, the continuous cycle. Wow, a fast, aggressive play. Flash, and a combo from the Hunter Siri alongside Will. But a change of pace might not be the way they were hoping, as instantly Whoa. T1 have struck for two. B, B, and a crossfire with Rarkar. Rarkar no longer has a contact in mid. Out comes the take. Trail around the corner. Only going to be able to get one. Rarkar has not wide peak. He's going to keep here in short. He's gonna back out on sight. His teammate is slowly approaching. Very, very slowly rotating. Now it's a denial of info. It's a denial of utility. But even with the flash drive, it's going to be poached in a 1v4. He starts it off right. Taking out Curry over in B main. Now there's no longer people for T1 out either in courtyard or back in main. It is simply going to be poach. Now with his own devices, two shock darts, a phantom, and a hope. Gonna take a bit of time though, Sully, because you gotta watch out for the crossfire between Automatic and Brax. They're still holding down to it, and they don't even have a lot of util. They're just dry peeking and dry contacting, and indeed, 